being a Tar Heel is a uh, is a very unique experience. You know, most guys go to school and they move on, they lose all connections. But it's different for us. We really consider ourselves a family. Um, not just the guys that I played with, but the guys that played play before me and the guys who will play after me. My team, out of 17 guys, 13 of us live within 30 minutes of each other. So our families grew up together. We, we grew up together as, as young adults. Our kids play together today. They go to school together. Uh, I, I remember every game from that 2005 run. Uh, I remember every game, every moment we had. The most memorable moment was uh, the night before the championship game. Uh, it was Sean May's birthday, one of my teammates. And you know, where most teams are super focused and ready to get ready for the next game. We had a birthday party for him in the hotel where the, all our teammates and family members were able to come to the hotel. We had a big birthday celebration. And that's the way we got ready for the game the night before. Kick out, five seconds. Illinois has to get off the shot. Rebound Carolina with one second and that is it. There is a new dean in college basketball. North Carolina takes the title. It's weird because before the game, Coach Williams came to every player individually and asked us, uh, did we think we would win? I remember him asking me and I told him we would blow him out. But the previous two years, we had beat him pretty bad when we played against them. And I know they were undefeated going into 2005, so I figured they figured, I figured they thought they were gonna beat us. And I knew we beat them in the past and I knew all we had to do was play our game and we would blow them out. And uh, in my opinion, halftime saved them. Uh, we were running up the score. Halftime came and they were able to regroup and uh, made it a close game towards the end. Yeah, yeah, I always, I'm always, I'm always in prayer. I try to try to keep that connection to God on and off the court. And uh, I was, I, you're talking about Raymond Felton's free throws. I remember that clearly because it was a very tense moment. I figured I'd rather, I'd rather pray and just hope it goes in and watch and see what actually happens. My first meeting with Jordan, I was walking into the gym and he happened to be walking out and called me by name. Like, hey, Jawaha, what's up, man? First time meeting him, I couldn't stop smiling. I was like, so excited. Uh, shook his hand, talked to him for a little while, told me to keep working. And my senior year, he came to practice to watch us. Might have been right before the uh, ACC tournament or something like that, and uh, we had a half-court competition. Who, who would make the first half-court shot? And I actually beat him. That's, what, that's a, the picture you've seen probably on my Instagram. That's where that picture came from after I beat him in the half-court shot. And uh, now when I run into him, it's, it's normal. You know, it's like, it's almost like Michael Jordan's my friend. So everybody else is super excited. It's kind of weird, you know, but I'm used to it now. I was playing in, uh, in Turkey. I was in Gaziantep. Me and my wife, we set our alarms to wake up at like three in the morning to get up to watch the game. Uh, I was super excited when Marcus Page hit the shot to tie it up. And everything went completely flat when the guy from Villanova came down and hit the shot. And uh, I remember going to bed disappointed. I go into practice the next day, the coach walks up to me and shakes my hand, tells me he's sorry, because he knew I was up watching the game. Uh, disappointing time, but uh, I'm glad that they're back in that, on that stage this year, and uh, hopefully they get it done. I got to set my alarm. I have to watch it. I mean, one way or another, I have to watch that game. I, I, can't, I can't miss that one. Through every country I've played in, they always talk about rivalries, and I don't think they really understand rivalries uh, on that magnitude. Like, when that Duke Carolina game is rolling around, before we played Duke in 2005, our last home game as a senior, uh, there were Duke students actually on our campus. They knew our class schedule for some reason. I don't know how they got it. And they were standing across every, they were across from me, every bus stop I went to, holding signs, go Duke. And you know, it, was, it was weird, but that's a, a rivalry that I think everyone in the sports has to at least witness one.